Welcome to mission 10, the monastery. Bandits have occupied large parts of this island, and the Jorn try to hold them back. As the villagers fight to defend their homes, a group of new allies arrives ashore. That's us. Ah, can you smell that? This is the foggiest place you will find anywhere. Don't you too love that smell of earth, peat and water? All I smell is the scent of rot and sulfur. Ah yes, how could I forget that? That originates in the hot springs that flow below this land. Some people say there's even a hot spring somewhere right below the monastery. I am very curious to know more about that place. I have gone through all the books I have on the Veiled Islands, but I didn't find any mention of a monastery. Well, there's not much to talk about. The Order doesn't want any intruders to interfere with their peace and quiet. They love to meditate in the swamps, and they consider it to be a great challenge doing so without covering their arms and heads. That is curious indeed. What is so special about that? Oh, wait. I think I understand. The bugs in this area must be quite a plague. Am I right? <laughs> exactly. Countless blood-sucking insects live and breed in the shallow pools of water in the area. Some of them are even known to drain a grown person of all their strength for days, if bitten a lot. The monks and sisters living in the monastery really must be hardened. But our people are not. We can't stay here very long. So please, would you mind telling us why exactly we are here? My friends in the Order reached out and reported a raid on this island being imminent. I suppose the bandits have come here to compensate for their recent losses. The bandits plan to attack the monastery. That's just the thing. I'm not worried about the monastery. But the village nearby surely will need our help. I'll start to investigate the area immediately. Okay, it is as with the previous episode. I won't show you every single thing that's happening, mostly the key message. As you can see we have the monastery probably somewhere over here. But yeah, we need to send a scout to discover the monastery. Just gonna send one of my archers we'll see and start building you know something right start building the basics like we have wood over here over here if we give wood we can get some reserve maybe we can get some fish over there and if possible be great to get some oh there's probably some bandits there yes there are some bandits <laughs> okay so we're not gonna go through there Maybe we'll go through there. Uh, but yes, it'd be great to also find some stones, I guess. Okay, we've quickly expanded. I found the stone over here. We put two quarries. There's a lot of trees over here. So also put, as always, sort of four logging camps, two sawmill. This is slightly far from the warehouse, but not too far, so we're good. I also put two towers on this side because I realized we could get attacked from this side and from that side. But to be honest, we haven't been attacked a single time um, so far. So <laughs> that was a bit of a waste of resource for now. But anyway, that's done. We also conquered all of the terrain over here. So there's some fish. And so, by the way, actually, now we have access to all of the food right now. We have the fish over here. We have over here some berries. We have over here some uh, meat to hunt. And of course, we can create some bread out of nothing. So we could, you know stay there forever in a sense i mean it depends how yeah they're regrowing all of these trees are regrowing so we could stay here forever in particular for not getting attacked we could exchange the wood over here against some coal and some iron then make some weapons but honestly that feels very boring so we're gonna start attacking <laughs> we're gonna see over here what because we can also get some uh weapons over there and I'm sure there's not too many bandits. Yeah, there's not a healer, right? So let's attack that. Let's build uh, already a training ground in the south over here. 
so we can use the resources that we're gonna gain okay so here it is i didn't really check if we lost any soldiers but that's life here we have nine more weapons so that's great just need to send these guys to pick them up good and let's continue i mean there's something else over here Shield is probably the type of thing where when you unlock it, you get attacked, but yeah. I built those two towers, hopefully that will be enough. Oh no, we further mission progress, sorry. So I need to first discover the monastery. Over here, I don't think there's anything, but maybe we missed it. Let's check a bit in the north. If we have... Oh, that's quite a bit of bandits there. Compared to mine, this is a swamp. Probably don't want to go there. We're going to lose some health. Okay, let's discover quickly in the south if there's anything else. While we get all of those weapons. And then we can start using those weapons. Right click so that these guys are auto built. So, I think that's the end of the map over here. Good, so we could get even more trees and deers if we wanted or meat there's also i think some stone over there but to do that we'll probably need to put some defenses over here right some towers otherwise that wouldn't be defended so what do we have here okay we actually have nothing so if we want to get to the monastery we need to go through these guys and they don't have healers but they have pretty much the same number of troops i have it feels. Ooh, I completely forgot to build some residences. Sorry about that. Okay, so we've corrected that. We now have a number of residences. Our population has increased. We have a number of idle carriers. Right? We have also delivered the planks. And as you can see, we can deliver it again. It's on the 10 minutes timer. So basically 10 minutes has passed since the last part of this video. We got some um, coal and iron, right? Which is also why I built the furnace over here and the blacksmiths with that we made a few more soldiers and that's why now we are at 40 actually that's pretty good i've also built over here you know the toolmaker and the guild hall so we could start making engineers there has been also a very recent change that for the rangers you need some wheat right so we could also make the rangers but you know i'm not gonna do that uh, <laughs> and anyway now we're starting to make planks again so I can send soon over here. We can actually do it right away. Uh, let's take these guys there. These ones there. And all of this. Okay. And in the meantime, let's see what our army over here should be doing. Okay, let's go for it. They are so useless. Look at this terrible pathfinding. Even when you control them manually. Okay, so we lost a big part of the army, obviously. Didn't win that much. But we can get to the monastery, I guess, now. That's the important thing. Okay, let's get all of this while we're at it. Uh, first, let's do those ones. There's still anyone left. Go for it. Good. Okay. So I'm guessing that's the monastery over here. Here it is. So if we give it some gems, we're going to get a lot of healers. That makes sense. But we need to deliver those gems, okay? Which I guess means we need to buy some or find some. So, yes we can. We just need some meat. That's easy. I can do that. 
Okay, let's just put these people over here for now. Let's get some meat in and then we'll be back. Okay, it is. We deliver 30 meat to this Miranda's Inn. She gave us 200 of the gems. We have them now in the storage. I've started also to, you know, use my engineer to get access to all of these terrain over here. And we continue also, as soon as it's available, you know, to give over here some wood to get some coal and iron and with that you know getting a few more soldiers every 10 minutes so it's really not a lot and basically only did one since we last saw each other <laughs> started to also build a bit of roads over here we're going to continue because remember we have the stone there we also have a lot of wood we have you know some food so i'm sure we're going to need that in the future so I'm continuing to do that. Perfect. But now indeed we have, you know, all of these gems in storage so we can give them to the monastery and in exchange get those uh, healers. In the meantime, I've also, by the way, um, you know, looked a bit at the map. As you can see, we have, for example, discovered over here some uh, mining terrains with also a secret tunnel. There is some enemies over here, so that's why I didn't build so far. I also went north all the way over here and we found, you know, another camp over here. But all of this is blocked, so we really need to just move on with the mission now. According to Ulrich, this monastery is amongst the oldest buildings in the history of his clan. But I can see so much more than its age. Each stone tells a different story. The drastically changing weather, the warm summers and the freezing temperatures in the winter, the heat from the depth below and the floods of rain. All of this has formed the stone, but it has also shaped the people that live here. For now, they remain distant. We must convince them to join our side. Okay, and that's why we must pay them gems, I guess. <laughs> so anyway, we have some healers now. That's great. And the console wants to talk. Okay, let's go. Finally, we've reached the monastery. It is just a shame how much we had to fight to reach them. Isn't attacking villages enough? Do they now have to attack monasteries, places of knowledge and contemplation as well? These bandits know no honor, and the roar has made them even more aggressive than before. The situation is actually even worse. How can it be worse than that? They already are everywhere. Yes, they are. But this time they surround the village and put it under siege. So they don't want the villagers to leave. That can't be a good sign. These people start to present us with a challenge worth our effort. It's time we show them how my people deal with threats. We have to evacuate the villagers. Last night, I was able to sneak within range of the village. There is no way we can reach them without raising an alarm. And when that happens, we will have no other choice than fighting with the civilians nearby. They won't mind. They can fight. But they shouldn't have to. None of us should. This won't help us right now. We need to focus on saving these people. I may have an idea. If we could cut their supply lines, the camps around the village would be vulnerable. Would you be able to somehow get a message to the clan leader in that village? If there is a way, I will find it. Then tell them to wait for our signal to attack. These bandits will have to deal with attacks from two sides then. I'll be quick as the wind. Just be careful. We will be lost without you. Okay, and now we have two new goals then. This one we haven't really discovered and that one over here, which is I think this gate we saw. We probably do need to develop a bit more uh, troops first. But yeah, we're starting to get a bigger army. We will of course continue to you know get more of these rewards. And here get again more, right? get more troops over here i may want to also take over this one nine soldiers yeah maybe not maybe why 
What I'm worried about though is I don't know where I need to defend because I'm guessing they can come from here and therefore come down over here. At the same time, they can also come from there. Um, so yeah, that's the one annoying thing. Maybe let's put two towers there because look at my resources. 200, 100, that's not the problem. One problem though is I think we need again more people. So let's build that. Okay. Oh, what is over here? There's some mines and something. Okay, let's claim it. That could be some actual, you know, coal and iron to really increase. Oh, and there's also something over there. Okay. Oh, they are coming for me. Okay, let's use my towers to defend. At least a few. Well, that's really not that many. <laughs> that actually followed. So let's kill them. Oh, now they're coming. Or not. Where are you going? I see sometimes some of those problems where basically, you know, there's not enough you know, space for the people to deliver their resources. That's very annoying. Okay, a few minutes have passed and we still haven't conquered this thing over here. But we did do a couple of things. The first one is over here. We have built a small base where the gold was, right? So we have two gold mines. A mint so that we're making coins and with that I have a training ground here that is set to automatic on the berserker so we're making some of them that's great I've also sent over here one of my engineers to try to open this door or see what was happening over here and I did the same on the other side and actually to my surprise there's basically nobody protecting this thing so we're gonna attack you know, we obviously have a lot of ritualists, which is coming from uh, this thing over here. In three minutes, we'll be able to redo it. We're going to need some of those gems. Here, we'll be able to also do this one. Actually, we are. So let's just do it. Uh, 16, 20. Perfect. In the meantime, this has been done. We lost maybe a few troops. But we're also going to gain a few, if I'm not mistaken. The bandits won't be able to use this post anymore to put pressure on the village and the monastery. Claiming this outpost has made our lives a lot safer for now. I wonder what they try to accomplish here. They seem to be fueled by anger and rage alone, but I think there is more to it than just pure violence. Okay, and here it is. A few more troops and nothing else. And I haven't seen anything interesting on the way. I mean, there is some, you know, wood and stuff, but <laughs> look at how much we have. That's really not the problem. So let's go back down and all the way over here. And we have, I think, completed this one again. No, we haven't actually. So the reward was just this one, I think. Okay. Um, over here, you know, we have used all of the stone. Instead, I put a number of uh, small residences. So we have a lot of people doing nothing. Okay, let's do the second one. Hopefully it has also very few people. Yeah, that's an easy one. Again, we'll gain a few troops. Probably basically what we're going to lose. It's fine. Felt... 
No, we actually didn't lose anyone. That's great. Okay, and now we can use the secret tunnel that we already control over here. So let's just go there. <laughs> what do we need to do? We do need to deliver a bit of rupees. Shame we don't have any. We just spent them over here. Oh, 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 wow. Okay. Well, that's something. I'm not sure where they're going to go, but <laughs> the thing is, I don't have a lot of defenses anywhere. And this is indeed quite the army. A lot of healers. They're probably coming around here. So let's go there. Okay. Let's go. Oh, they are actually... Where are they going? <laughs> They're not even attacking me. Usually it's the AI that's dumb for my troops, but today they're also dumb for their troops. Huh? Interesting. Okay, we're gonna lose it f quite a few troops for sure. Especially because they have so many healers in the back over there. Let's try to kill them. Okay, good. I'm trying to escape. And to be honest, I'm not even sure we need to really follow them. Because there's nothing in the north. I'm just glad we didn't lose our whole city. Good, good. This is also empty now, so uh, reserve of stone is done. Not like we already need more right now, but anyway. What uh, we needed to deliver a bit of gems, yes. I remember now. I bought a lot of um, coal because remember, every time we get 10 coal and 10 iron, but the problem is. You need coal and iron to make the steel, but then you also need coal and the steel. So basically, I have a lot of iron for nothing right now, which is obviously not great. Um, I'm going to try to now buy, I mean, to buy the, the gems. We only need 10 more. Okay, we have secured the tunnel. We've sent a message, we've got 10 ritualists with this and now we need to destroy all of the bandit camps it seems this time i decided not to make the same mistake and not just attack right away instead i made sure to actually build my city to the maximum we have reached the maximum of population 500 we have a huge army as you can see more than 200 we have tons of donkey carts right more than 60 we have also done Pretty much all of the research, not finished yet, but you'll see that what's left is not really useful. For example, this one over here is for the towers and bastions. I haven't been attacked at all. Basically, one hour has passed since the previous part of the video, and I haven't been attacked a single time. This is, again, the problem with, I think, this campaign is very passive. You can really take your time. There's no urgency. And indeed, for example, in this case, no reason to upgrade my bastions. Similarly, over here, no reason to upgrade the bastions, no reason to upgrade the decoys, all the buildings uh, over here, you know, residents, I mean, my people are full, so that's not needed anyway. This one, towers and bastions, same, I don't need it. Over here, we've done all of them because they are useful, you know, it's military unit type of things. This is, we could do it, it's not too bad, but... I haven't done it yet. Those two also, I could do it in particular. This one, I think is a good one, but that's basically the last one, right? 
So we have a great number of troops. We have a lot of research. By the way, I arrived at this by really upgrading my city, right? We have the fish over here. We are making some bread. We are making also over here uh, my donkeys. Right? You can see uh, the wheat going into the ranch, going into the coachmaker. maker. started to also make uh, these seals that can attack from long range. Um, over here we were making our, our gold right so that's all good there um, yeah we've started to also get even more resources like the meat and the grapes so we're getting everything and that's uh, also then sent to those two arbors over here where we can buy and sell so i've been buying and selling like crazy to create this huge army that you can see over here we're talking about more than 250 soldiers a bit of everything i did manage to send a couple of engineers to find that over here you have some stone and you also have the iron and coal so you would be able you know if you take this over to then make even more soldiers on an automated way you will not have to use you know this thing over here but i've been using it no problem because this is a forest that regrows super quickly right so i've been selling tons of wood and no problem anyway i think now they're going to attack probably not even but no they're not even attacking me um so we're gonna be able to take this over and then we can move start moving there was really nothing over here unless I, I missed it, but nothing in terms of mines, right? So that's why I didn't build anything there. Same on the other side. I didn't find anything. Don't hesitate to tell me in the comments if you did, but I may have missed it. Anyway, so yeah, I've just been selling, buying, using, you know, this thing over here to get some um, soldiers, basically using this to get some gems. But that's pretty much it. Okay, we have controlled this. Ah, oh, now they're sending an army. Let's just wait for them. We could use some of our, you know, advanced elements. For example, this. I can try to send... Oh, they don't even have healers. Because if they had healers, you could send your troops to the healers. But I don't even see any healers. So that's not even needed, I feel. Let's just continue like this. All right. My healers are working, so all good. I'm sure I'm going to lose a few troops. I mean, we started with 255, if I remember correctly. So we've lost 10 so far. They've lost, what, like 100 at least. <laughs> Just because they don't have healers, basically. And my troops are also super strong, right? Like, if I show you into over here... Right, you can see it's plus 45% in terms of health, plus 30% in terms of damage. Same for the others, and there's many other bonuses, right, that we're gaining with many of the research. So, definitely they are at a disadvantage, even if they had the same number of troops, same types of troops. And given they don't even have healers, they're in big trouble. Okay, so there's a tower there. That seems to be pretty much it. Okay... Yeah, I don't see any other towers. Here we have the warehouse. That's pretty much it. The only problem... Look at this past finding. It's terrible. They take 10 seconds to realize what's happening. And what's bad is that all of my long-term, long-range uh, people, I think they are more to the back. But anyway, that's life. Let's go directly for this. I don't think even if we lose a few troops... That won't be the end of the world. There's definitely other resources there. So once you've taken this over, you know, it becomes even easier, right? Because you have even more ways of constructing troops. For example, if I go over here, right, I could get even more troops easily. But with the army that we have, I'm thinking we probably don't, we would not even need that. I'm just going to restart my black mist and my furnace and that's pretty much it. Okay, so here it is. The first village is done. We could send all of our, you know, engineers to capture all of this. There's some coal for sure. Okay, so this is linked to the other base we had. That's easy. Let's continue moving forward, I guess, this side. What I'm going to do with my engineers is just... And it's just because they're bored, right? Uh, we're going to make sure that we link all of our 
bases. Yeah, they're haunted because they're staying in that swamp, but that's fine. Quickly send them over here. Small army. As long as there's no hero, we should be fine. Oh, there's a hero there. Yeah. We need to go through it. That's life. We can send some of our troops, you know, to the back. But look at how long they are taking to arrive. This is so bad. But yeah, at least we send a couple of troops to the back. Try to get the healers. And try to get my archers to focus on the healers too. Okay, there's only the hero left, and that's done. And again, I'm sure we would get some great rewards there if we wanted. Done. Territory expansion, do good. So we've linked now to this mine if we want. Now we're gonna continue and link over there. <laughs> Let's go for it. There are a few more over here. Yeah, you can be the one that linked this part. I'm gonna ca capture the whole map. Okay, let's go. Oh, there's something over here. What is it? Oh, we claim the area, basically, by capturing this. And maybe they'll also send us some troops. Always good. We can see. So here is the friendlies, which, again, haven't been attacked either. So it's another thing that, you know... Yeah. If you think about Edge of Empire or something like this, any mission like this, there would be a timer. Like, these guys would get attacked. Um, but no, in this one, no. You just can wait forever. Are we done with the research or anything else needed or useful? Nah, yeah, there's nothing is really useful anymore. Except this one, potentially, I need fish. I am using my fish, right? Yeah, I'm using the fish over here to make even more... We could stop that and get some fish. Okay, we got this one. So this is now in our territory. It's great. Let's go and attack. I see there's something over here there and something in the south. Let's start. That's a good question. Let's start with the south. Makes more sense. Small army, one or two towers. Should be fine. Let's play in high speed. Okay, well, they do send another army. It's not big, but it's not too small either, right? So, again, if you hadn't really prepared, if you had just sent a small army, like, I don't know, 50, 100 people, you would already be in trouble at this point. I'm going to send these guys to attack in the back. All of the healers. Is there something to do? Okay, we've rejoined the other part of the city over here. It's great. And then we can continue this way. Uh, oh, we're attacked from both sides. That's interesting. Oh, we are sending again another small army. Okay, again, you could micro micromanage it a bit better and wait for this power to end, but honestly, especially with my seals, I still have the 10 seals that we started with. Okay, this is finished, perfect. Let's go. Oh, what is that? There's no... Now, there is, you know, a frontier here, so there must be somewhere a warehouse, yeah, over here. It's probably a small warehouse. I don't see much. But again, you have some resources over here. So if you're in trouble, you, know, you can use that. Oh, we have, again, an attack from the back. Let's actually flee and get over here to the rest of the army. We control everything over here. Yeah, I think so. All of my people now, that's why all of them are... You know, there's no idol. 100% of them are coming now over here. They're going to gather all of these resources on the ground. That's going to jump again my number of resources. 
can't complain. Okay, so here is the army. We have finished this base once again. Let's maybe continue this way. Go around. I think we're going to go all the way around. What are the reinforcements doing? Yeah, we're still creating some reinforcements. <laughs> Even without doing, you know, new trades or anything. So really can't complain. Let's do this one. Because we, we do see a lot of swamps. So it's good to avoid that. Okay, let's go for it. So they must be warehouse. Where? Probably on in the north over here, I guess. Because here there's two towers, three towers, but that's the end, right? We discovered that before. No reason to try. Let's kill this engineer. <laughs> they don't even kill them. It's crazy, right? You <laughs> just going next door, and you leave it there. Okay, let's go. Let's go. And the warehouse is probably somewhere over here. We are below the 200 now. Remember, we started with 255. We have lost basically 60 without even sending reinforcements. Where are you, warehouse? Okay, over here. They do have quite a few towers once again. It's not the simplest thing. Okay, so here we should reach this other one quickly. Good. Let's go for it. No reason to destroy any of those buildings because as soon as you destroy the warehouse, they will be destroyed. It's actually probably the same for the towers, you know. <laughs> it would be quicker to just destroy the warehouse. Oh, actually, this is a fun one because we destroyed the warehouse and the buildings haven't been destroyed, which means there's a second warehouse that's linked to it. Maybe it was two small bases that have, you know, they've linked to each other. So anyway, we don't really need to destroy it. Let's just go for it. They send healers on their own. That's pretty dumb because they can't really do anything to me. But whatever. Uh, let's kill them. <laughs> Okay, let's go, let's go. And while we're at it, let's just send the reinforcements over here. Because there's a base over here, right? So I um, just don't want them to kill all of my engineers <laughs> while my army is in the north. Okay, let's go. Oh, two archers. Yeah, that's definitely very dangerous. <laughs> Okay, let's go directly for the warehouse. Don't think it's going to be the last one. There's probably a, th a last one over here. Maybe not. We'll see. We'll see. I need a break. Okay, so we've captured now part of this. We need to destroy this one to get this. Let's go over there. I want the whole map. You cannot hide from me. Oh, and no. So that didn't kill this territory. So there's a third warehouse that's connected. Let's go. They're sending a few soldiers. Really not too worried. Some gems over here. Where are you, last uh, warehouse? And I think this is the last warehouse because remember, this is where the other end of the map is. So yeah, I think this is probably their last warehouse. Let's check it. I'm losing troops for sure by attacking randomly like this, but eh, fine. We have so many people anyway. And so much resources, right? And done.
Let's talk to the council. I've never seen anyone fight like that. The monks were fearless. You did well out there too. The clan owes you a great deal of praise. We will write poems about this day. The village is safe, so your people should be able to rebuild what they've lost. I only wish we would have had this kind of support. And people helping us to survive. In a way, we have those people now. Still, you have gotten far despite the fact that your people lost so much. You must be missing your home a lot. More than I can put into words. I wonder, how did your people deal with the burden and pain of leaving their homes? Most people suffered, but I suppose after all, they all did their best to see things positively. They all hoped that one day, they won't be refugees anymore, and finally find a new place to call home. Hmm. It's my honor, then, to help you master your challenge. How do your people deal with the recent events? I'm sure they will have a feast. They will remember what they lost and celebrate life. How remarkable. I'd like to one day invite you to my homeland. Our people surely will get along quite well. <laughs> Our friendship shall be the beginning of an alliance then. You have my word. I'm also happy to tell you that I may have discovered the final clue to the location of our ancestors. Let's not discuss this now. I need to get some rest first, and get some sleep before I can go on the next treasure hunt of yours. But I'd love to have a decent meal. <laughs> Let's join the celebration then. I'm sure the villagers will love to hear the stories about that treasure hunt of yours. I'd love to tell them. Actually, there was this one moment when Baldwin thought there was a lot of gold in that old harbour. That's not how I remember it. Victory is ours. And here it is, one more mission completed. Again, not so hard, but just super long to really get into a, an army big enough to go through all of those defenses. Don't hesitate to share in the comments if you have any questions, thoughts, requests, and I hope to see you next time.